This is a last minute meeting in the evening time and you're feeling anxious about some plans that we need to go through. So I completely understand and I'm here for you first and foremost. Um, and because we're meeting so late in the day, well, evening at this point, so I have a couple things that I think are going to really help you relax and feel calm throughout our meeting tonight. And I have, firstly, a candle. I think candles help create such a mood of calm and tranquility. So I think we should light a candle and make sure that that tranquility is emanating from this meeting. The candle for tonight is by Hearth and Hand with Magnolia from Target. You know, I can't help a Target run. And I picked up sea salt and lavender. And it's in this beautiful amber glass jar. There's something so lovely about an amber glass jar. You know? You agree. Well, I'm glad I picked it up then. So I'm going to go ahead and light our candle. It's a very calming scent. Um, definitely feels like you're you know, near an open window with an ocean breeze coming through, and it's a lovely ocean breeze. Um, it's definitely got that sea salt um, scent, and the lavender is supposed to be very calming, so I think this will be perfect for our evening. It smells very nice. Okay. So, I have some matches. I wonder if anyone really has matches these days, but I managed to find one because you didn't have a lighter, so we will um, attempt it with just the matches. was my first try. I forgot to cut off the top before <laughs> lighting the flame. So it did a little bit of a dancey dance for us, but this gives me the hocus pocus vibes of lighting the candle. <laughs> Except I don't think witches will be after us tonight. Hopefully. Those were very good matches. That was my first attempt. Alright, so we've lit our candle and I'm just gonna set it off here. so that it's there during our evening together. You feel like you have a lot to get through. I completely understand. We all feel overwhelmed, but as your personal assistant, I'm here to help you and support you. And this is a judgment-free zone where you get to just lay out everything we need to get done and we will figure it out together, okay? Alright, so the next thing I have to help you relax is a cup of tea. And I went through your mug collection, which you really need to clear out, by the way. It's getting a little overwhelming in there. I found this very cute flamingo mug. And it's very adorable. Yes, you don't remember where you got it? 
think it's just adorable. They're flamingos that are skiing. It's not exactly the calmest looking mug, but it does make me smile, so I thought it might make you smile. <laughs> you like it? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and make you a quick cup of tea. So, I have here your mug, a spoon for you to stir, and a hot teapot of water, and I have two selections for tea for you this evening. So, we have two options based on what I could find in your pantry. <laughs> I might need to help you restock a little bit. But, I have two options for you. one. This one is, let's see, peppermint and spearmint. So this is meant to really calm you on the inside. And while it can be refreshing, it also is meant to really calm your stomach if you're feeling upset. very relaxing tea chosen by many people. Okay. The next one is by Yogi Tea and it's Soothing Caramel Bedtime. So as we sort of dive into your list of items, we can get you ready for bed because it is late and I want to make sure you still get some rest. How does that sound? <laughs> yeah, I think the bedtime tea might be my recommendation for you because I do think it's important you feel relaxed enough for bed. says it supports a good night's sleep and it's caffeine free. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to steep for a little while so it'll be ready as soon as we sort of get moving into our to-dos. You want to go with this one? Go ahead and make this one for you. We will let that steep for a couple minutes and I will leave it off to the side for you, okay? So you just wait a few minutes and it will be all done. Mm-hmm. There you go. So there's your tea. 
I'm going to clean this up and then we can go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. Are we ready to get started? You're enjoying your tea? Wonderful. I'm sure you'll start to feel relaxed and sleepy sooner than later. So that means I should probably get to it. Okay, so let me pull up the notes we have. We're going over your travel plans. Okay, they're coming up soon. make sure I have everything. So, um, let me just see the agenda we had put together before. Okay, so I think I found it. So, you want to cover your dates that you're going to be traveling and book your flight so we can definitely get that done first. And then we have your hotel booking that we need to sort out. Um, I think maybe we could just do a package. What do you think? Mm, okay. We'll make a note of that once we get to it. Then we need to go over any itinerary needs you have while you're traveling. And then I'll put a proper itinerary together later for you. So yeah, I'm just going to get the basics down for now. And then when we meet up again later this week, I'll have a full itinerary ready for you. Mm hmm Yes, of course. I will definitely take care of everything. And then it looks like because you're going to be traveling international, we should go ahead and renew your passport. So I'm going to help you fill out the papers today on that. I did bring them with me. Okay? And I did find your passport. Um, so I do want to make sure that renew that because it is expired and I will help you fill out all the paperwork so that I can mail it out tomorrow. Yes, I have a photo of you so I should have that covered. Okay, so we'll go over that. Let's see my list. Um, we also need to cover some items that you had ordered a little while ago that I think you might want to bring on your trip. Um, so just a couple just travel items. Um, I just want to make sure that you want to bring them along and they look good to you so that um, I can make sure I put them in your packing items list. Okay. And lastly, um, we'll need to make a list of any to-dos for while you are away. So, any needs that you need me to cover while you're on your trip. Okay, how does that sound? Sounds good, alright. Well, let me get this going. And we will be all set. Okay. Alright. So, I'm looking up the package options for you for the trip. I'm going to make sure that it includes the flight, the hotel stay, and a shuttle service. Do you need a rental car? No, you think you're going to stay the whole time at the resort. Okay. Well, let me just go ahead and check. Um, yeah, I'm looking up the membership you have and what options um, include you know, the package items we're looking at. Um, looks like there's a three-night stay, which is the correct amount of time you want to stay, correct? Okay, three-night stay. Looks like there is a flight. Um, let me check. What were the dates again you were thinking? Okay. Okay. So that first week of that It looks like there's a flight that leaves that Thursday. We want to do a Thursday. Yeah, and then you would come back Sunday. 
yeah, there's um, a flight that leaves Thursday, so you'd get there Thursday, and then you would come home Sunday. Mm -hmm. How does that sound? Okay, great. Yeah, those dates work. Let me just double check the flight. Um, no layovers, so it's direct flights only. Okay, and would you like first class? Let's see. Oh, you're gonna bring... You're gonna bring the dog. Okay. Um, that should be no problem. I think the resort you're planning to stay at might have pets allowed. I'll just double check. Make sure. Absolutely. Okay, so let me see. Um, I see a deal here that looks really good. Um, yeah, do you want to just check the screen? What do you think? You want me to go for it? All right. And just the usual card. Okay, so let me just... I'm just gonna put my info and then um, your email. Okay. Yeah, it's all set to go. That includes the hotel stay or the resort stay, I should say, and then the flight there and back home. I will arrange for a car to pick you up, which reminds me. I'm just going to jot down some notes of things I need to remember. from there. Yeah, I'll f you should get the email confirmation. Okay. So, I'm just gonna make sure that's listed. Okay. And then I just need to make sure we get your pet carrier sorted for the dog. Okay. Can't go anywhere without him. I understand. Okay. So, let me just make sure I just put this receipt information and make sure I forward it to me and then if you have any trouble at all you just let me know and we can contact the airline but you should have everything applied like insurances and everything like that absolutely okay were you going to take a checked bag with you probably just to carry on okay I think I might need to see where your carry-on is and make sure to get that out of storage. Um, yeah, I think you might have stuck it somewhere and I just need to track it down. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's see. So we covered the flight, hotel, booking all together. Yeah, I got that suite that you wanted. Mm -hmm. I think your name is even specially listed for that suite. So I think when you arrive, they're going to make sure you have everything you usually have when you have taken trips there before. So, yeah, no problem. You're a regular, so I think you'll be good to go. Okay, so let's see. I want to make sure that I list down any itinerary needs for your trip, so is there anything additional I should be aware of and let the hotel staff know about when you arrive? You want to book a okay, a spa session, a facial, and you get the regular 
and they should know what that is. Okay. Talk to Linda. Gotcha. Okay. I will track down Linda. I'm sure she's well known. Um, okay. So facial spa. Are we doing a manicure pedicure? Why not? Let's throw it in. Absolutely. There's a restaurant you heard of. Okay, Michelin star reviewed. Wow. You forgot the name of the restaurant. Okay, I'm sure I could track it down. Do you remember anything else about this restaurant that I might be able to find it for you? Okay. You heard they had a famous dish. Okay. That's a little more vague than I would prefer. Anything else? Okay, they're overlooking the ocean. Okay. You know, I think I'll, I'll just start with that and I might come back to you with a list of restaurants. Yeah. But you want a reservation, I'm assuming. Okay. Okay. Okay, we will make sure that that happens. Was there anything else? Okay. You want me to make sure? books you want to take. You're going to read on the trip. Okay. Are you sure? I mean, just last time we, we sent you along with some books, I don't think you read any of them. Okay. Yeah. No, I will definitely place an order with Barnes & Noble. Yeah. I mean, if you don't, at least you enjoyed the trip either way, and it's better to have books with you than not. You know what I'm saying? Is there anything else? Are you taking any of your electronics with you? Just your laptop and phone. Okay. Good to know. Um, let's see. Was there anything else? Any other plans you wanted to take? Oh, there was a guided tour. Okay. Of the coast. And a winery. Okay. Let me start off with that. I will fill up the itinerary for you. I might throw in some extra goodies. Um, and then we can finalize the itinerary from there. Make sure you love everything. And then, you know, obviously make any tweaks if needed. And then um, you should be well prepared before your trip. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's check our list here. All right, I think I have what I need for formulating your itinerary. How about we move on to the passport? Okay, let me get everything out. the folder of the application. I went ahead and printed it out from online. So, I have your old passport. This is expired, so when we renew your passport, we need to send this one in the mail, along with any other documents we might need. Um, including your photo. Um, so we do need to send this over to them. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's pretty much, I think it expired only a few months ago. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, yeah. You didn't get to travel that much the last few years. Well, I'm glad that you are taking a trip for yourself. 
and that you get to go international. That's always exciting. Um, but we do want to make sure you get your passport on time. I will make sure that it gets shipped quickly and that you can get your new passport as soon as possible. leave that there. Let's see. I think this is the application. Just making sure I have everything here. for now, just in case, and then I'll resubmit it in ink for you. I'll probably just need your signature, mm -hmm. and obviously for you to review everything before I help submit it for you, of course. All right, you all ready? I'll try to make this as quick as possible. Okay, so this is the passport renewal application. There's a few questions for eligibility to renew. The first one is, I can submit my most recent U.S. passport book and or card with this application. Yes or no? That would be yes. Okay. I was at least 16 years old when my most recent U.S. passport book and or card was issued. That's also yes. I was issued my most recent passport book and or card less than 15 years ago. Yeah. Okay. The U.S. passport book and or card that I'm renewing has not been mutilated, damaged, or reported lost or stolen. Okay. Yeah. That's a yes. My passport was not limited to less than the normal 10-year validity period due to passport damage, multiple passport thefts, or non-compliance. Okay, so that's yes. And then your last question here is, my name has not changed since my most recent passport book and or card was issued. Or it says, you know, if you do have a name change, you can submit documentation. But your name hasn't changed. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you've answered yes to all of these questions, which means that we can continue with the renewal application. And then it just talks about um, the process of replacing a damaged passport um, and other such things. So the steps to renew your passport is you must complete and sign this form, which we're about to do. You must attach a color photograph, 2 by 2 inches in size and also submit your previous passport and any supporting documents like a marriage certificate, things like that. Um, all you need to do is send in your passport, which we have, and the photo I also have as well. We need to mail the application and attachments such as the old passport and photo, and then we can track your application status online. We will also need to submit a check for the amount adding up to express delivery. Okay? Yes, I know where your checkbook is. I can definitely fill that out. And then I'll let you look at everything before I mail it off tomorrow. Okay. I'll probably have you look at it in the morning, if that sounds good, when I come pick you up. Or I should say when the driver comes to pick you up and I'm in the car. <laughs> and I'll have your coffee ready, so don't even worry about that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so these are just instructions for how to fill out the information. So I think we can skip through some of this. It just talks about the name stuff, expedited delivery notes, other conditions or policies, um, and other such statements. So, 
this is the actual application. Um, I need to staple your photo here, so I will be doing that later. Okay, so let's just go ahead and fill this in together. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do pencil for now and then I'll go back in with ink. Mm -hmm. Or I might do it on the computer. Either one. I have yet to decide. But this is just easier that way in case I make a mistake, it's easy to erase first off the bat, you know. Okay. So, the documents we're applying for is the passport book, not the card. And it's the standard. Okay, and then we need to do your name. Okay, and just put that in. Your middle name. Okay. And then your date of birth. city and state. Okay. Perfect. Your social security number. Okay. Yeah, I don't have that memorized. <laughs> I don't think that's something I would need to, but you would think, right? Okay. And then your email. I'll just put your personal one. Okay. And then your primary phone. Okay. Mailing address. Your apartment. Okay. The city. only if you're outside the U.S. Okay. Let's see. Where are we at? List all other names you have used. Birth name, maiden name. Okay, that doesn't really apply. Um, passport information. Your name is printed on your most recent passport. Okay. Now, all these little boxes, I mean... You would think they're easy to fill in, but it can be a little confusing after a while. Your most recent U.S. passport book number. So, I believe that is the number in here. Let's see. Da da da. There it is. Okay. So do. Okay. Um. You don't have a card, so we don't need to fill out that information. Okay, perfect. Name change information we don't need to do. And then we just need your signature and the date, so I'll just go ahead and do the date. And, um, yeah, you want to do your signature in the morning? Let's do that. Yeah, that makes sense. making a note for that and then the rest is for the office so I think we can move on to the next page name of applicant date of birth okay height oh. <laughs> okay let's fix that Eye color and occupation. Yeah, I think this is just standard information. Okay. Okay, and just double checking. I have the right information. Your emergency contact. Oh, you want to do me? Okay. That would make sense. I know you're very well, and I'm here to take care of it, so I would definitely want to know if you were an emergency, but, um, okay, 
that makes sense. Okay, so I'll fill out this info for my info later. I'm just gonna make this note. So, I think I have everything to finalize this passport application. So, I will go ahead and finalize this later and come back to you in the morning. your passport renewal application. Let's see, I think the only thing we need to do left is go over um, some items for your travel. Oh, should I do any to-dos for while we're out first and then I can go grab the stuff? Maybe we do that last. Yeah, let's, let's do any last minute to-dos. Okay. while you're away that I should be aware of. that membership. Okay. Yeah, you weren't really using it that much. That makes sense. Okay. Um, for mail, I'm gonna just have the doorman make sure they store everything. Okay. So, um, mail for the doorman and I can come check in, you know, one of the days just to make sure everything's good. Okay. Double check any other appointments, you got it. For sure. Anything else you can think of? Uh, we covered housekeeping. Is there any dry cleaning? No. no dry cleaning, okay. You should be good. Yeah, we'll make sure all your outfits are selected before you leave. Um, the car. I have that listed. Let me see. Hmm. I have the other items listed that might be bleeding into this list a little bit, but I think I have most things. If something comes up during the day, you can just send me a quick text, you know, stream of consciousness style, and I will just put it in my notes with everything. Okay. For sure. I think I'll probably follow up with you a few days before the trip just to make sure we have bought everything you need and to make sure you have all your appointments done that you need before your trip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You want to jump into the items I wanted to go over with you? Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. to cover on my sticky notes. I just like to keep them protected. I know, it's a little weird. Okay, so let me go ahead and put my planners away and pull out the items. Okay. Okay, so I have a couple items for your trip that I have either gotten in the mail for you or you've ordered before for this trip, and I just want to make sure that I put it away with all the items you're packing. 
so you had ordered some disposable cameras for your trip and it was actually already opened I think you might have opened it you remember okay so yeah they are Fuji film and there's two in here Though I think you might be able to get away with one, but did you want to take both? There's 28 images available. And they come in these little packs. What do you say? You think just one? Okay. Then I'll pack one for you. save the other one for you for another occasion. Okay. okay. So I'll go ahead and put this aside. I'll leave this up here for you. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Um, I think you might have ordered this like fanny pack satchel. like this. It's just like a black nylon. Just very sporty. Okay, so it has a long adjustable strap and a little like coin purse attachment and you can detach this if you want. You could change out the straps at some point. And got, you know, the inside. There's a zipper inside pocket. And a little, like, folder pocket. Open folder pocket. So, this is something you want to take with you. It looks very sporty and handy, especially if you're running out to the town or going on a little walk and you're just kind of taking the bare necessities and it's a crossbody. So, <laughs> this is the effect. You have your little coin purse, which you could also put chapstick in or keys or anything like that. And then you have the bag off to the side and it sits right there. And it's adjustable, like I mentioned, and you can remove the little coin purse and stick it in the back if you want. Yeah, I think it's neat. So, do you want to take this for your trip? Okay, then I will set it off to the side for you. Next, we have a couple more bag-oriented things. Um, I think you might have ordered this came in a little while ago. It's like a cosmetic bag. And it's cool because it looks like it opens up flat. And it can lay flat while you do your makeup kind of thing. Close like that. Yeah, you can see that. And it lays flat. Mm -hmm. It looks easy to clean, which is always a plus. Isn't that neat? So you definitely want to bring this one then. Okay. So then I will zip this back up. Yeah, and then if it's ever you no know, flat, it collapses. 
surfaces like that. Very neat. Okay. Um, let's see. Next, I believe you were running out of some reusable bottles, so looks like you have like a spray bottle. It's still in some packaging here. Another little spray bottle to decant anything, if you're, especially if you're just bringing a carry-on. Um, these are super cute. You have these like silicone bottles for like shampoo or lotions, and they're squeezable. So you have a purple one. I don't think it says anything. I think you can label them whatever you want. And we have a yellow one. Then you have a pink one. This one seems to be a little bit more um, ounces. Then you have a green one. You even have little funnels to help you decant. That is so neat. I love that they thought about that. stuff, hair stuff, 
anything really and this looks like a really good size for the trip that you're taking yeah so it's like a black it's like a quilted material it's got like a front pocket and it's like a cloth feel and it opens up it's already open but um, put this paper out looks like it's a bag that is something you can unhook and hang on the back of a door something like that so it has a compartment here for your little items uh, you have a compartment here and it even has a little elastic to help keep your bottles from shifting around which I think is neat and then you have even more compartments one right here um, this looks like a double one so this one opens and it also has some elastics and then this one opens oh, and it enters the same way so you can um, get in this bag you know either direction or compartment and then the last one is just a regular pouch she could put like jewelry and stuff like that in here. So, what do you think? You want to take this with you? Okay. I figured you would. You did buy it actually, so might as well use it. Okay. So, that is this bag. Zip it up. Okay. So, I think that pretty much sums up everything we needed to review tonight. Or how are you feeling? You're feeling much better. Okay. More relaxed. Even a little sleepy. I think that my job here is done then. The tea is working for you and I managed to get through a couple items for your upcoming trip and I hope that will make you feel a little bit better about what to expect and I'm here to help plan everything with you and make sure you have what you need um, as you prepare. So, we already have a couple items, and I'll make sure to help you pack and everything. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go ahead and probably pack up everything and head home. Um, but is there anything that you need before I go? You're good. Okay, great. Well, make sure to put on some warm, comfortable socks and finish your tea and maybe snuggle up with the dog and the cat <laughs> um, and I will make sure to blow out the candle mm -hmm. yeah it's a really lovely scent isn't it it's been really nice right okay well thank you so much for going out over everything with me and I will go ahead and blow the candle out, get all my things together and head home, but I will see you in the morning with your regular coffee order. Okay, yeah, I can find my way out. No problem. I hope you have a great restful sleep and that you feel more comforted after this meeting. Yeah, I'm glad it helped.